Welcome back to Natal B Reefing, this update on the Aqua One Mini Reef 120 and how it's been going on the Triton system. I think we're on about week two, maybe halfway through week two. Um, everything is stable, but I have been having some issues with calcium and I think it has to do with the Hannah Checker. Uh, I did the same sample of water twice in a row. One result gave me 500 and uh, something, 520. The next result gave me 476. So I went out and bought a Red Sea test kit today and it came back at 420. So uh, as true hobbyist style, I'm gonna choose that as the correct answer and I'm gonna run with it. Uh, the alkalinity has stayed less than, well, it has gone, hasn't gone past 8.1 and it hasn't dropped below 7.9. So I'm pretty happy with it being around about eight and uh, the corals are doing really nicely. I've taken the lid off, so we're gonna have a quick top down view. Um, this wild caught colony here is one of my favorites. It's so 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 fuzzy um, and lots of polyp extension and there's so many new little I suppose you could call them nubs or tips or something growing off them and since the addition of this coral I've seen so many new little ones and I can only attribute it to the um, the Triton method because I never got growth like this using Red Sea not that one's better than the other I'm just saying in this tank specifically it's working much better. Even looking here at this blue, this little blue Acropora, um, the way it's encrusted right over the edge, it it's every day it's more and bigger. Um, the Maleficent frag that's here is also right over the edge of the plug now, almost down onto the rock. Um, this little broken piece, which that little with the two green tips there, that little thing was it was snapped off. And I just stuck it over there in amongst the in amongst the glue and it's thriving in there. Uh, this sort of colony here has got a beautiful acro crab. I don't know where he is now, somewhere in there. Um, and even the pink lemonade, if we look at it like that, you can see reaching the edge of the frag plug, which is happening quite quick. Um, the Dallas has got new tips on it. Uh, Mount Leptastria at the back here is um, as always doing really well. The thing I did notice with the Triton, which is different now, and it's still early in the day, so you can't really see it, but it's that the, um, the Leptastria themselves are actually a lot fuzzier. Um, the lights have only come on about an hour ago, so nothing is waking up, but in general, these corals are furry, so much furrier now since using Triton. Um, and uh, yeah, the new additions in the tank are Two little um, Atikeos, a couple uh, Incredible Hulks, I think they are. There's one or two little Rustas there and a Rasta over there. So I'm hoping just to sort of cover the rock a little bit with um, with some nicer zoanthids. And the other cool thing that's happening is on the clam, you can see the new growth of the shell is very, very white. And it kind of looks a bit funny. Kind of nice to see that you've got new growth. But this in the middle here, that one there, used to be as white as those, but as it sits in the tank longer, it's now starting to encrust with coralline and it's starting to look more like an aged clam, which is quite cool. But I mean, since I put this thing in the tank, I think it's maybe six months, I'm guessing. I've had that one, that one that's changing color there, sorry, I'm bouncing. That one that's going brown and coralline, that was the first one that grew. Then there's the second one. There's a third one there. And I think deep underneath it, there's probably even a new one. So this clam is growing really, really quickly. Um, which is nice and uh, yeah everything's pretty stable I'm happy with how Triton is working I'm now currently up to dosing um, started off at two mils of Triton a day then it went up to three mils a day and now I am on to 4.5 mils a day and uh, the alkalinity is staying stable so obviously the corals are growing they are taking up alkalinity quite quickly and I'm going to start hopefully finding a balance with the with the calcium now that I've got a slightly more accurate test kit or something I think is more accurate anyway. But yeah, so that's the update of the tank. Uh, thanks for watching the videos. Um, if you like it, put the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll be continuing the update on the Triton method in this nano tank uh, over the next few months as well. So thanks for watching. Peace.